how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Now I'm wow. very delighted. Wow, you're fine and you're very excited. That's nice to know. Welcome to another lesson in 5-1 Talk. This is mm. teacher Florle, and I'm happy to see you. Is your name Lunar? Am I correct? Yes, that's it. Okay. Hi, Lunar. It's nice to meet you. Okay. You chose to study lesson two, world affairs. We are going mm -hmm. to study this lesson. And in this lesson, you will make an argument about a current event in another country. Did you oh. review the lesson? Oh, no, I didn't. But uh, I have it. Okay, let's just try to review it today so we will learn about it. Let's go to the next page. Let's do a warm up. I'm going to ask you the first question. Can you read it for a teacher? What? What's the latest international news you've heard or read about? Okay, so what's the latest international news you've heard or read about? Mm, mm, honestly, I didn't read any international news today and yesterday. And I've just remembered the news about coronavirus. Okay. And all I felt I've known the USA is ready for its another vote. Okay, it's about the coronavirus. Well, that is a news, actually. It's almost coming to an end. I really hope it will be soon over. Okay. Yeah. As mm. for me, the latest news I've heard was about the super typhoon Rolly which is about oh. to hit our country in the Philippines. So the news said that is the strongest typhoon in the year 2020. So we, re we are really praying that it will not yeah. do so much damage in our country. Okay. Yeah. Now let's go to number two. Let's go through the words and phrases. Okay, and try to complete the sentence. Number one, please read, Lunar. Refu refugee, someone forced to leave their country because of a war. Okay, let's try to read again the word. Refugee. Refugee. Okay, so a refugee is someone that's forced to leave their country because of a war. Let's try to complete the sentence, okay? The response based on ref refugees mm. Mm. cross the border of, between USA and Mexico. Okay, the report says some refugees cross the border from America to Mexico. Is that your... Sentence? Yes. Okay. Sentence. It's correct. Very good. Great try. Let's re read the word refugees. 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 Very, very good. Okay. That was perfect. Next, number two, please read. Oh, bulletin. A quick announcement of an important piece of news. Okay. Bulletin. Yes, bulletin, bulletin. Okay, very good. So a bulletin is a quick announcement of an important piece of news. Okay, now let's try to complete the sentence. The TV the network, TV network shows a bulletin about, about a car accident. Okay, the TV network showed a bulletin about a car accident. Very good. A magic star for Lunar. And I will give you a beach reward. How about I give you a sand castle for your beach? Awesome, Lunar. Great job. 
<laughs> okay, let's go to the next page. Okay, again, let's try to go through some words and phrases, okay? Number three, please read. The international community, a phrase using the news to describe all countries as a group. The international community was bothered by the news on, mm, mm, on the, the U.S. The U.S. The USA quit the Paris Agreement. Okay, the international community was bothered by the news on the USA and Paris Agreement. Okay, great job. So again, what is an international community, Lunar? It is? It's a phrase used in the news to describe all countries as a group. Okay, it's actually the United Nations. Okay, it's the international community. How about number four, please read. The center of attention, a person or thing that just general attention. Okay. Ah, oh, Xi President Xi Jinping is the center of attention in China because of the news on his mm, his his new his new opinions. Okay, very good, Lunar. That was awesome. So when you say center of attention, you draw the most attention. Okay, say yeah. for example, you go inside a room and you are wearing this very beautiful clothes. So you mm. can draw a lot of attention. So you are the center of Attention, good job. Next, please read number five. On the surface, at first glance, outwardly or seemingly on the surface, the actions of mm, 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 oh, the, uh, the actions of Mm. Okay. Oh, yes, the action, the actions of pro producing mm, electrical vehicles okay. is uh, mm, uh, environment friendly, but okay. actually it also it also burn lots of food fuels in their mm, manufacturing process. Okay, so they are not that good for our health or the environment. Very good, Lunar. So on the surface means that there is something deeper which you need to understand. So not all that's on the surface is okay. At first glance, they may seem all right, but that's just on the outward. But you need to dig in deeper to find out the consequences of a certain action. So that's it. Very good, Lunar. How about number six? Please read. Oh, root, the, root of the problem, the causes or basis of a problem, the root of the problem, um, mm, mm, Mm. You can do on it. Our, on our sufferings to the pandemic is, mm, is we do not, do not have vaccines to fight it. Okay. The root of the problem on the pandemic or the coronavirus is the lack of vaccine to prevent its widespread. Okay, very good, Lunar. How about number seven? Please read. Of benefit, serving someone well, or benefiting someone. Mm, okay. Their decision to, mm, mm, to advance, to be advanced, to being advanced for the, the 
in internet violence is of benefit to adolescents. Okay, great job, great try. Okay, Luna, you did very well on this activity. Just try to go through all of the sample sentences and try to make more out of them so you can practice. But overall, you were great. Teacher will give you a starfish on your beach. Great job, Lunar. Let's you. Welcome. Let's go to the next page. Okay, we are going to do a role play. Okay, you will be the first one to read. Then I will be Josh. Okay, you are Brad and I will be Josh. Let's do this together. Please read. Oh, have you seen the bulletins about Europe accepting Syrian refugees? Refugees. 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 Very good. Refugees. Okay. Yes, I've also seen and heard a lot of comments regarding the situation. Isn't it a good thing that European countries are taking the refugees in? On the surface, it may seem like Europe accepting refugees in Holland. But if you look at the situation closely, countries are accepting way beyond the number of people they can support. This could potentially have a negative impact on them in the long run. Hey, as I see it, the decision to take refugees in is of benefit to both sides involved since most European countries are in need of manpower, while refugees will most probably need work to survive. Also, it's for them to be able to contribute to the community that took them in. Okay, let's try to read again the highlighted words. Bulletins. What? Bulletins. Bulletins. What? Okay, very good. What do bulletins mean? Oh, it's a uh, quick exposed to uh, in, an important news. Okay, or reports. Okay, bulletins yeah. are reports. How about refugees? Oh. Who are they? Yes, there's someone who lo lost their home and, and mm, mm, moved to an, another place to make a living. Okay, very good. So those are refugees. They are usually the people affected by war, so they need to flee their homeland and find another place to stay where there is much safer environment. Okay, now how about on the surface? What does it mean? Oh, it means, mm, it means, mm, mm. Okay. Oh, no, oh, I, I have a, I have a word, but, but I cannot alter it. Let me think. Okay. Mm. We still have time to think. It's yeah. okay. Take your time. On the surface means. Oh, let me check what. Okay. Let's try to go back. Oh, it means superficially okay. speaking. Okay, so when we say on the surface, it's it actually means that it's what you see outwardly. But actually, there is something deeper. If you try yeah. to find out, okay, there is a deeper meaning of the action. So that's on the surface. How about yeah. the word regarding? What does it mean? Oh, regarding. Consider. Okay. Yes, regarding, okay, what you need to consider or your concern or with regards to, okay, that's very good. How about of benefit? What does it mean? It means it's good for something. Okay, good for something or for someone. Okay, if you, something will benefit you, it's of benefit to you. All right, very good. Okay, let's go to the next page. 
please read. Still, Still the reality is conscious and just taking everyone. And there should be more reason for other nations to help rather than criticizing Europe's actions or disapproving of its decisions. The international community should be following Europe's example. Okay, let's try to read again some of the words. Okay, let's try to read criticizing. 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 Very good. So when you criticize, it means you are? Mm, disappro disapproving. Yes, you are disapproving. And you're trying to scrutinize the person. You criticize his actions, okay, or the way that he looks like. Very good. Now, how about the international community? Mm, it means the United Nations. Okay, the United Nations are a group of countries working together. Okay, how about this phrase? Following Europe's example, what do you think the international community should do about Syria? Oh, mm, are you, mm, were you asking what's my opinion? Yes. What's your opinion based on what we've read? What do you think the international community should do about Syria? They should? Oh, yeah, I, I think it's not, not a piece of tape. It's really, okay. it's really a hard problem. Mm. Okay. I think we wish you, wish you, mm, if we are, are as to give our attempt to the refugees, but okay. also some sufferings, side okay. effects to do in this way. So I, so I, and I approve it, the Europe's example. Yeah. Okay. But, Very good. Yeah, way to to make a better solution okay so your solution actually is to help also the refugees or to take them in okay very good okay you should follow europe's example that's what the rest of the nations should do in order to help the refugees good job now let's yeah. read again what josh has to say you're right Oh, you are right. The international community's center of attention right now should be on working together to help Syrian refugees in the best way possible. And one very critical aspect to this whole situation that the international community needs to address is the root of this problem, which is the Syrian civil war. Okay, very good. Now let's try to read again. Syrian refugees. Syrian refugees. Very good. Next, let's try to read root of this problem. Root of this problem. So what does root of this problem mean? Oh, it's the main reason. The uh, deepest reason, the essential of this problem. Okay, so the root of this, the problem is the main reason why the problem occurred. Very good, Lunar. Next, let's read Brad. Okay, right. All right. This is actually a very difficult situation to handle because it involves people's lives regardless of what country they're from. Thus, thus crucial decisions have to be made as soon as possible. Very good. Now, how about center of attention? What does center of attention mean again? Mm, uh, a person or something who, which is, which is 
which calls, which attract the attention of many, many people. Okay, the center. If you are the center of attention, you attract attention of many people or you draw attention. Okay, very good. One star, two yeah. stars, and okay, no more stars. We run out of stars, but I will give you a pail of sand for your beach. Great job, Luna. Ah. Okay, now let me ask you two questions. Number one, what does Brad think of the decisions to take refugees in? Oh, mm. Mm, he thinks rather than criticizing Europe's decision or disapproving of the, its decisions, the international community should be following Europe's example. Very good, okay? That is to take the refugees in and help them out, okay? How about number two? Why does Josh think the decision is of benefit to both sides involved? Oh, mm, because it, it can... It can promote their international community with attention to help Syrian refugees and and okay and oh and their international community needs to address is the root of this problem, which is Syrian civil war. Okay, great try, Lunar. But the Real answer is all about the give and take between the Syrian refugees and the European community. Of course, the refugees need to work and Europe needs a lot of manpower. So it's a give and take relationship for them, okay? Um, oh, the I European see. people will help the Syrian refugees by taking them in, in supporting them with their needs, but the Syrian refugees should work on behalf of the people in Europe. Okay, very good. Great try for us, Lunar. Let's go to the next page. Okay. What's one of the top world news stories lately? Okay. Again, what is the latest news you've heard? Oh, mm. I want to ask you what's the latest news you heard. Okay, it's actually the one that we've read about Syria. Okay, the Syrian civil war. So actually, it's a very long story. I want you to um, search it over the net after this lesson. You can do a research on this one. So you can try to answer this question. Actually, oh. Syrian civil war started way back in 2011, around second week of March, I think, around March 15 or 16. So we have to research on that. But it, it actually began when some of the civilians wanted to take that down their president. So they wanted their president to resign from his post, but the other civilians love their president, so they wage a war against the people who are against the president, okay, of Syria. So that's what happened, actually. So that is the latest news, okay? Now, let's go to the next page. Okay, what is your opinion about the Syrian civil war, which we, which we read earlier? So, is your opinion the same as Brad? We should take in the, the Syrian refugees. Say, for example, you, you are the head of the Chinese community. You are the president of China. Will you take in Syrian refugees? Mm. Yeah, that's a problem. And and if some of the Syrian refugees wants to wants to move to China, mm. okay. Think, if you are the president, will you take them in? Mm. Yes, that's really difficult, but. But I think if if they 
that Chinese government have to hurt. Uh, I cannot, I cannot mm, turn them down. Yes, okay. I will. Oh, that's very generous of you, Luna. Great answer. So, as much as possible, you want to help them out, but of course, you need to consider some consequences of your actions. Like, are your resources still enough to help out these people? If it's yes. enough, then maybe you can take them in, but. If the resources of China is very limited to the Chinese people, of course, you need to reconsider, okay? Very good. Okay, I think we've explained our point further enough, okay? You can just go through again with these questions and try to answer them again after researching about the Syrian civil war so you can fully understand what it's actually all about. Okay, oh. actually this lesson is a surprise for both of us. It's kind of difficult, right? About Syrian yes. civil war. So we're not back into the current affairs, but um, because of the lesson, we were able to take a hint of what's really going on in Syria and how some of the international community are re reacting to it. Okay, thank you very much for listening to Teacher Florle Lunar. I had a wonderful time with you. Okay, sorry, we still have one more slide. I thought we're already done. Okay, let's go through this. Anyway, I don't have any other lesson. Okay, let's try to read the paragraph. What's the title? Ah, Cecil the Lion. Okay, Cecil the Lion. Cecil the Lion. Very good. Let's read. Mm, Cecil, a male Southwest African lion, was a part of a study being conducted by the University of Oxford and was the best known lion at the Highwich National Park. At age 13, Cecil was shot with a rifle by U.S. death Dennis and trophy hunter Walter Palmer after he wounded his first with an arrow. The killing all outraged, outraged many individuals and groups, especially bringing to the line. line Limelight. Limelight, the issue regarding animal rights and the estate and business of trophy hunting. The controversy resulted in one online pen petition, petition. petition calling to ban hunting permits, especially on endangered species. Okay, very good. Okay, someone booked again. Okay, I really want to extend, but I need to attend to my next lesson. Thank you yes, so much for listening, good. Lunar. Let's try to answer the questions, okay? I'm counting on you. You did very well tonight. Thank you so much, Lunar. Bye. Okay. Bye -bye.